Hello all. Today we have a special guest and my dear friend Bela has come to Chennai. So after a nice lunch and we are here wonderful discussing. Wonderful lunch. <laughs> Not nice. It was a wonderful lunch. So we are discussing about what else. She's, uh, look at her patola. You, you have to step back and then show your patola. Beautiful patola she's it's wearing. It's a Navratna design with a classical flower border. Yeah. And uh, the palla is also very, very classical. But this was, uh, this palla was done for the export market. Mm. Very rarely it was done for the local market. Mm. So I like this kind of uh, combination of local with something which was exported. Mm. So that's why I created something different. Very nice. Yeah. I love the, I love the pink also. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Very, very. <laughs> so here we are. Okay, lot of people uh, are first time buyers in Patola and here we have an expert. Um, so, uh, so we have all ranges of patola in the market, right? I mean, I'm unable to decide which one to go for. So, in terms of uh, the technique or the quality, or what would you suggest? There are so many kinds of weft patolas, var patolas, and the double level patola. Double double patola. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, uh, what happens is uh, when you are buying a patola, first of all, you need to decide the budget. How much do you want to spend? Now, if you want to spend something below 35, the best way to deal with it is to go for a single or weft patola, mm. where the cost is reasonably low. And what I'm wearing just now, uh, casually for a wonderful lunch, I'm wearing a weft patola. So, uh, double patola, I would wear somewhere like a wedding or something like that. So I prefer uh, weft patola to go for reasonably important meeting like mm. today mm. Uh, as you can see uh, can you see that the white itself is not pure white in this the green here is not pure green the yellow here is not pure yellow so that means the warp is one color and the weft is where the work is can you see this mm. Now, when the weft has, can you see, the, yeah. uh, the this thing goes mm. sideways. Mm. So, that is where the weft patola is. Yeah. Now, the quality of a patola is to be decided about how well defined the design is. Sharpness. Sharpness. Merging has to be right. Mm. The depth of color. Even though this is a gulbaz paint. Hmm. Can you see I the like depth the name. of color? I like the name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but can you see the depth of color? Yeah. It's not shallow. Hmm. Many patrolas, they look like patrolas, but they are very shallow. Hmm. Patrolas is not supposed to be shallow. It's the way the patrola yarn is, it needs to be, it is hand twisted so that the seepage happens at the hmm. yarn stage. The depth, the of, the color. depth of the color. color. Now, if the patrola is very wishy-washy, it's not a good quality patrola. It has to be striking. It ha patrola has, I mean, like 10 meters there, yeah, you'll you see, know, okay, it's a patrola. It's a patrola. Yeah. Any good Jewe lady wearing a patrola and you know that it's a patrola. Yeah. It's not, when they wear a copy of a patrola, hmm. people know. Hmm. Because the fall, the feel, the look, the absorption of color, the depth, the definition of the design. All this matters. Matters. <laughs> you know, I have just written an article for Sitma, mm. a magazine, where I am comparing the uh, diamond. Mm. How you buy a diamond? The cut clarity the and all the clarity. See, the three yeah, C's. The three C's. The same three C you apply for. Amazing. And exactly the same way you evaluate a patrola. Now, say for example, there are patrolas available at 70,000 rupees also. And then there are patrolas available at say, uh, 7 lakhs also. There has to be some difference. Correct. I'm talking about the double patrola. I'm mm. not even the 70,000 is double patrola. Mm. But the quality difference is unless you know what you're looking at, you will not know how to choose a good quality of patrola. That does not mean that the 7 lakh wala uh, karigar is, teach, uh, is uh, facing you. No. He is giving you something which is absolutely a fantastic piece. Now say for example the one which I am wearing. 
uh, when the double happens, mm. the sharpness increases. Mm. And instantly, mm. uh, the price goes to 3.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs. Mm. But the, uh, the consumer needs to understand that the same thing in 75,000 rupees will not give you the same look, the fa same feel. It's not about, oh, Bela Sangri is charging more. No. Bela Sangri is not charging more. Or XYZ is not charging more. Or a ABC is not charging more. It's actually depending on the work done. Yeah. And how well the work is done. Yeah. How well defined. How well uh, the colouring is happening. There are three things in Patrola which is the most important. Time, first of all. How well it is tied. Then dyeing. The skills of the dyer has to be fantastic. Correct. And after these both processes, the weaving has to come together at the right point. So precision weaving. So at all stages, if one mistake is made, then the end result, end, is, the yeah. end result is not going to be as good as that. Same. Yeah. So, uh, so you, you were saying about weft patolas. I've never heard about the bar patolas. Uh, war patola is when the warp is uh, uh, designed and the weft is in one or two colors. Okay. So uh, that just as in double patola, you have warp and weft, weft both, both uh, together. together. In uh, the warp patola, it's only warp. Okay. Just but the sizing is uh, like in Andhra ikats. If you see the warp patolas, the motifs are little bigger. But in 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 these patolas, Andhra are, technique is very different. different. And also the execution level is different. Mm. And I don't think it has something to do with the size. The size is anyway predetermined up here. Mm. So uh, whether it is the warp patola or a wef patola or warp patola, size is predetermined. Yeah. It has nothing to do with, uh, oh, it is a warp, that's why it's bigger. No, it's it's a myth. Okay. Uh, it's basically... So uh, coming back to the patolas, if I'm buying a patola, there are so many motives in there is a uh, the uh, the kunjar part, the Nari, Nari kunjar part. Nari kunjar. There is the one which you are wearing the Navaratan part, mm -hmm. and then the chabdi part, Chabdi part, and then one and on on the uh, 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 Ratan Chow. Rat yeah, all that. So yeah. so tell me about that that story which I love. I want to hear it from you. What is the first one which we should buy? Nari kunjar. Uh -huh. Nari kunjar is the first one where uh, Nari, a lady. A lady will always have her own tribe, whether she's married, not married, uh, she's uh, divorcee, she will have her own set of women where she's comfortable with. So, what they're blessing is that the Nari, may you have so many happy ladies in your life, uh -huh. so Hasini ladies who are satisfied ladies in your life, that they bless you all the time. And they are part of your tribe. Yeah. Uh, when do you have parrots? Where parrots stay? When it is peaceful. Peaceful. Mm. Where there is no big noises or mm. something like that. Uh, that is the reason why Meenakshi Amma's uh, sign is parrot. parrot. So, may you have so much peace in your life. Mm. Nice. I like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You can think well, you can do well. Mm. Uh, the jhaad, mm. that is the tree motive. Mm. There are two to three meanings of that. May you have enough dhahadhanya mm. in your life. Mm. May you have enough fertility in your life. Okay. Because you re re require the future generation yeah. also. Mm. Many things. Mm. You have lots of you know, fruits and trees around you, greenery around you. Like Alpha Viksham, so, yeah, whatever you want. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So may you have many such things. things. When can you afford uh, an elephant? You are rich enough. It's not just about money. You will require human resources. You will require that kind of space. Can Ambani, he has money, he has people. Can he keep an elephant in his uh, uh, place? You need Aishwarya. Aishwarya. Yeah. Yeah. So may you have so much of Aishwarya that you can afford so many elephants. Wow. I like this. I like yeah. I like yeah. I like the story very much. Yeah. So um uh, what will be your first patola? 
what is the techniques go behind your patala and number two is what are the motives you would go for so you can comment on the um, uh, on the thread and uh, we have bela Sang uh, sangvi her uh, brand uh, you want to introduce her brand please yeah. uh, please uh, go and visit her page it's yeah. an awesome uh, brand uh, bela sangvi designs itself is fantastic and i've been working in this field since last 41 years we have been working with 56 different techniques now and uh, in handloom in handcrafted 43 different techniques and with khadi four different techniques so in every area we try to make our presence felt we we means not just vela vela sangvi designs is a brand with my name on it but we have 22 designers working our, under our brand so vela sangvi is just the face but vela sangvi has a lot of support that we are able to do such very good work. So thank you very much. <laughs>